Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to edit a album in Lightroom. Quick and short album. I had fun at this event. It's called Blowing of Trumpets. Alright. So the first thing I noticed is this is a little bend, right? So what we could do is scroll down to lens correction, remove chromatic aberration, and click auto and it immediately lines that up right so before and after so the before and after button is on the keyboard right above enter right you see a little slant before and after and we have our histogram here underneath the histogram i my iso was 8000 the lens i was using was a 55 millimeter 2.8 at 120 1 250 seconds right per minute so that is the settings i had the camera for this shot right so what i want to do is just increase the shadows ever so slightly and because it's food i could bump up like textures right and look how beautiful that looks now so you can see a lot of what is you know in the food like the down to the breadcrumbs all right and i shot this in uh a slug all right see me three all right so what i'll do is these a little bit and i could bump up the vibrance just a tad bit because this is sweet bread a delicacy in the caribbean so this more has uh um you know brown tone to it not like gray and we can cut out the top because there's a piece of foil coming down there so that is just one picture all right this picture needs a little more light as you can see in this section here so we could just go to tone curve and carry the curve all the way up and there we have it we can now see the little sugar sprinklings on it you understand so this looks great to me um what i like to do is create a folder so i'll export choose the folder so on your computer save it on whichever drive you are custom saving yourself and uh, you know create a folder right so i have blowing up trumpets here gocc that's a church right so i will put gocc blowing of trumpets lr lr sounds so light room we know that right guys and that will go into that folder we change it from tiff because as in some photoshop we for the png and the image size the longest size 2048 and the watermark gocc watermark right I created the, the watermark like for it so it's not a problem so let's go and check our folder quick access will access you to the latest thing you have done all right the picture wasn't finished as yet so quick access is we can just go to the picture folder that you stored your um photo and there we have it guys it's stored here and there's the logo at the bottom there all right so the rest of pictures i'll be doing would be in that same folder so we have another picture here of some cake this light is a little bit a tad bright bump up the shadows um turn up the texture and the dehaze and there we have it that is the lovely cake i knew i saw all right, we can carry this up and bring this down. So I'm gonna focus a little bit on the cakes. I'm bring this down a little bit. All right. Um, a little more. You know what? Let's carry it back straight to the water. It's trial and error to see how good it looks for us. And this looks good to me. You can just hold Control, Alt, Shift, and E 
and it will export. You can see that it is exporting right now. So let's move on to another super red shot. We already know the deal. Chromatic aberration, auto, light a little bright, bump up the shadows. We could cut this a little shorter because we already have a picture of the cakes. And then head to texture. Be his. All right. There you go. A little bit of contrast. Lovely. This looks lovely. This looks delicious. All right. And we can just export. What I forgot to do on this photo here, which was the one we did just now, the chromatic aberration and the auto could help straight now stuff. So it didn't do much, right? So we have some rice, right? I took a bird's eye view, bird's eye photo of the rice, and here we go. A lot of fixtures could be fixed. Nowadays we have AI, um, AI options that I still don't use, right? I prefer a little bit of, you know, the human intervention. So I'm not too fully engrossed into the AI as yet. Um, this could be a little warmer, nice, because it's something a delicacy called fried rice, right? So we will export that. So you'll be noticing that I'll be doing a few pictures. Um, one by one and not batch editing because you know i'm now warming up my eyes and my hands to editing because it's muscles that we continuously use to edit and we can go gung-ho straight in so you know my eyes could be off color wise you never know because i haven't edited you know photoshop or photo shoot sorry pictures in a while and guys i'm just doing the same thing if you watch when your mouse is clicking you'll notice it's just the same repetition over and over right um so yeah that is that there's some yummy macaroni pie a little bit blurry turn on the texture and also some days right and add some blue to it oh you know what we could carry down the light that is affecting it and um, let's try auto all right that's much better nice so this is a nice cheesy macaroni pie the elbows delicious another delicacy in the caribbean you guys need to check out the caribbean it's awesome all right and there is if i'm not mistaken this is shepherd's pie Right. A little bright. You could fix anything. That's what she said. You know, just know that in your in your mind that we could fix anything in Photoshop and Lightroom. Don't worry about it, you know? When they ask something, yeah, don't worry about it. We could fix that. Who is your favorite fearless hero? Who is your favorite fearless hero? It I may be touching the same settings over and over, but I'm not doing the same thing over and over. Like putting the same percentages. You understand? Know, it's the same action, but it's not the same percentage, the same amount on all the pictures, right? So I'll put auto on this one. Turn up the shadows of it. Some text here. Be his. Shadow some more. And this will need some light, alright? And there is that magnificent pie. More shepherd's pie. Alright, now I'm gonna turn up the lights on that tone curve. Just to give it a little edge, a little crispy. I want you guys to experience. That is what you should want for the client, for them to experience and see what it is or what have you tasted? What have you saw with your eyes? You understand? <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, this is for communion. Communion. Sorry, my bad. Bruh. And these were actually delicious. Some of these menus I would 
really love to know and indulge in but hey, I digress right so there are ways to show the dynamic range your camera can go in you know play with your settings experience different things how does this color feel do I like this look you understand what I'm saying so this looks great to me it's a little a little over the top right but I love it I could bring down the highlights just a bit more right nice and carry up the shadows take out the whites and there we go nice before and after yeah now we reach the people so that jerseys are a tad bit white and we carry on the whites a little bit right not too much we still want to see that white emanating that clean close finish we want to have our people looking clean and fresh all right so let's go to lens correction immediately immediately align that photo and we'll know where we have to crop out or not Turn, but turn up the shadows and those shadows shows you what your camera can do can and it will also show you what it can do right a little bit of texture a little bit of the ears and this looks beautiful and warm it's a family it's a family here all right now that we have a similar picture next to it we can synchronize the settings and go to it nice so this one you can do a black and white and this one you can do a color all right and that's it here we have a picture that looks very dark right because immediately from this photo i shot this photo but it's not the same light settings this young lady was not standing in the same area so what we have to do is just go turn up the lights turn up the shadows go to the exposure and there you have it now turn on the highlights and the whites and turn up the exposure a little more so what we just did is brightness and the places that had a little too much white we brought it back down now her face the remember the camera is set to get the detail in food and I didn't have a chance to reset it. So what we could do is carry the clarity or the texture backwards. So with carrying this backwards now, what we notice, it clears up. You know, the we don't want so much detail in our shot with people. If you understand? So this looks great to me, right? Any other work, I'll carry it in Photoshop. So this young lady, brighten up our day there, right? And we could save this and we can't do it out the candid so we have a young man here sipping on some juice all right this looks good to me let's bump up the shadows and we can be here a little bit there you go now this was a nice sunset all right now the pack is a little blown out but the subject himself is enlightened all right what we could also do is adjust the alignment so guys these 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 things can be done in any order the only thing that do is to be done last you have to save last you understand you don't save first so you do any adjustments to the photo and then save last all right now here we go we have a few shots well Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shots of, you know, our family. I think you can see it from now. What we want to do is adjust the first one and batch edit the rest, right? Now, the whites are pretty strong on her dress. And I could really bump up the shadows there. Nice. And bring in some of the blacks guys black is an important color don't underestimate it right and there we have it it's a nice warm finish again this is not photoshop 
anything like retouching should be done in Photoshop. All right. Now the auto here isn't too good, but what we could do is paste the settings so it will automatically add the auto transform to the rest of pictures. And then we'll come back after and correct this one when it's finished. All right. Click off and this one is good. So this one could go in black and white because his wife wasn't looking, right? So it's like a candid shot, right? And the one where she's looking, we'll keep that in focus. We'll keep that in color. Click update to the transform and then voila. There you go. Beautiful. Normally, I take more than one shot of family so that they can choose which one they want to print, which one they want to keep as a wallpaper on their phone, and which one they might want to keep as a wallpaper on their social media platforms and also their desktop and those all those images have different styles as in different ones you'll use on different platforms so this one might be for a cell phone and this one might be for you know the social media this one is more fun and engaging and the next few will a bit more serious all right so this one here they're not quite you know in the center so i'll put this in black and white and then the rest now i will export as is lovely all right so guys don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow to help me keep pushing out work encourage me to do more work I need your guys' assistance, all right? So here's a nice little candid shot of um, a young lady with her son speaking to someone else's daughter. So, you know, it's, it's a family gathering at a church. They are celebrating, again, feast of blowing up trumpets, right? And it was beautiful. All right, so let us align. You can see it has a little lean in it. It could be the way they are sitting, but we could adjust that in Photoshop, right? So we could do we could just turn it just a tad bit ever so slightly. Nice, lovely. This looks good to me. And I could crop in the left side to make it more fit dramatically and also carry down the texture and the clarity to give it that to give it that um photo retouch look uh nice and warm nice nice and warm all right so before and after there we go this is excellent and there are two more so i could just send these settings over oh this one is nice she's actually smiling they're really engaging there and this one is blue, so I'll delete this one. So guys, I'm not holding back anything. I'm showing you guys what actually happens. There would be blue, blurred pictures, all right? And also there will be great ones, like this one with him right after. Again, we're close into the face, so let's take down the textures. All right, not too much. Open the shadows up, lovely. Give it some contrast, set it on auto, and let's align this. Let's see if it could be aligned, straightened properly. Well, that's it. That's beautiful. He likes pictures. He really does. I could carry this more to this side, and the whites here. All right. Does it? Could it do it some blacks? Yes, it can. Right, so this is perfect to me. Right, now we have a picture of a plate of food, so we carry on the highlights because it's overpowering right now. This is where we can jack up the textures and the clarity and the details. Food is supposed to be detailed, you're supposed to see what you're eating. Alright, you're supposed to be sure of what you're eating. You feel me? Okay, now let's go to auto. Alright, um, we can add a little blue to it. Nice, lovely. I love this shot. This is we eaten. We were eaten. 
right? So we saw that clear vivid shot of that food before and after, before and after. So guys, let me know in the comments what you all think so far. All right, we are here editing, working, putting in that work. All right, if a young man here, candid shots, always beautiful shots. All right. And I could synchronize that with all the rest, and then adjust ours here. Adjust this. We can take this one off, right? Nice. Update. Nice. Let me focus in on this young man just a tad bit. All right. I was too far away to get a real. Good portrait of him, so I just made it in Lightroom. Alright, this one as well. I could actually bring him in closer. Lovely. And this one. You know those little kids are eating. Having a time. Turn on the lights. Top. and there we go lovely this looks good to me and we will save all so those are five photos we just edited there we have a young lady carrying some food here candid shot again all right so let's bring that down to the boat here where it's aligning with the wall so we get a nice frame and it's all about what we put in the frame all right and even if we don't like the alignment we can just tilt it a little bit and that green straight line there is coming down nicely ever so slightly all right lovely she looks good to me there next photo i think that's her mom if i'm not mistaken but hey line it up nice line up your sights all right so guys this is more or less what i'm doing right now and i'm loving it like a mcdonald's synchronize this to the next one and we're just about finished you know guys we already reached halfway through those through these pictures and we're just about finished So you know what, I will actually speed up this process because you guys know what I'm doing here is the same thing over and over. If I do anything different, I would say, alright, I would really say or mention it. Um, so you all could enjoy the pictures while I play some of the music that was being played in the background, alright? Okay. 